Diana, you had some experience at Cache Valley Hospital with, with a wound. Tell me about your little journey here that you had. Well, after a surgery, I had some complications and needed to have a wound vac. And I was in the hospital and they came and visited me there and explained everything that was going on. The staff here was very knowledgeable and was really caring about how I felt and what was going on. I want to backtrack just a little bit because you came in for what I'm going to assume is was a, a routine surgical procedure, mm -hmm. but you had complications. Right. So tell me a little bit about the complications and, and, and how that affected you uh, mentally because now you're dealing with something you, you were not expecting at all. Exactly. Yes, I was expecting just a, a four-day hospital stay and ended up coming home with a gash in my stomach that I could put my fist in and it stayed open. And so I, it limited my mobility a lot because I was afraid of ripping anything else open. But because they had vis visited me in the hospital, I just had a one day wait, came right in here, they got me in right away, was able to close the wound with the wound vac on it, which helped drain it and heal it successfully without another surgery. So that was gonna be my next question. Without having the wound therapy, was there any way that you were ever really going to fully recover from this? Well, they told me it would take a, a six months to a year if I went without the wound, but then I would have to deal with, that, with ho having an opening spot on my body. But with the wound vac, it was able to close completely and cleanly in four months. So tell me what that entailed when you started the wound therapy. How often did you have to come in? How often did they have to change the dressings? Was it always here at the facility? Tell me about that. I came into the facility and to start with it was three times a week and the nurses were very caring making sure that they weren't hurting me when they were changing the dressings. They also made sure that I knew what to do in case something happened at night that I needed to change. They uh, instructed me on the wound back, how to use it, how to care for it and then they also gave me calls at home to make sure I was doing okay and was very conscious about the billing, making sure that I was covered and that I wasn't having any surprises. Wow, so you covered three things that I that I picked up right there. Number one, they, they gave you education. They made sure that you were knowledgeable. Number two, they made sure that you were prepared and, and comforted, not in pain. And then they, they cared about far and beyond just just for healing your wound as far as making sure that things were taken care of financially. Definitely. And they knew who I am, who I was. They came, uh, met me at the door every day with the time I came in with my name. They knew my family that accompanied me. They knew me when they called me and they became friends. So it wasn't just, you know, this is patient number 99 we got to do this, this, and send her on away. Th this was very personal for you. I never felt like just another number or a patient. I, f I really, truly felt like I was making friends and that they cared about how I was healing and not just the healing itself, but how I was dealing with it, how I was getting around at home, and those things. A lot of people might not even understand what a wound vac is. Do you want to, can you describe it just a little sure. bit so people have an idea of, of, really, this is quite traumatizing to, yes. to your body but also to your emotional well-being. And I had no idea what it was. When they were talking about it in the hospital, I was just whatever. You know, I had no clue. But it's what they do is they put suction on the wound and cover it totally with tape and gauze. And this suction, you wear a little pouch on your side and the hose goes into that and it keeps the drainage coming out of your wound so that your wound can heal from the inside out instead of the skin over and having... Scabbing the over. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And was there a lot of discomfort with it, or did you just, did you feel, like once you started with the staff, did you just sort of feel like you were in good hands and everything was going to be fine? Definitely. In fact, so much that I found out after starting that my insurance wasn't going to cover it, and I opted to stay because of the care I was receiving here. That's really remarkable. We're so glad that your journey ended well, that you, that you healed, and more importantly, that you were treated um, as somebody important. And, and as, a, as a beautiful person that they really cared about. I do. I really feel like I was. Thanks, Diana. Mm -hmm.